Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Well, it is winter here in Australia, and even though we don't get snow, we can enjoy some of these snow sets that have been released in the middle of the year alongside the summer sets. So there's summer sets, there's snow sets, it's really cool. This one is the Lego Friends Snow Resort Ski Lift, and it's really, really fun. I have never ever been skiing before in my life, and uh, this just this just makes me want to go skiing though I'd probably just break my leg but anyway there are four bags here there is a little sheet of stickers oh nice big long black roddy thing and an instruction book as we would expect so let's go on before I go imaginary skiing and breaking any legs and we'll meet the mini dolls they've got their own little ski outfits now I don't know who this is yet she is dressed from top to toe. Oh, here she is. It's Olivia with her light brown eyes, top to toe in nice warm gear. And she's got a new helmet that has got a light brown or a brown ponytail, sorry, not ponytail, a plait down the back of it. And she's got her little ski goggles that attach here onto her helmet. So when they're up, well, she can see and when they're down, she probably can't very well. <laughs> and she's got some purple skis for this set and she's got some bright green ski poles, which is an excellent color, which means if she drops them in the snow, she'll be able to find them easily, hopefully. <laughs> she can send the sniffer bear out to look for them because there is a bear in this set. Shh. <laughs> okay, so Olivia is ready. She is all on her skis. Her companion on this adventure wearing lime green snow boots and a fabulous navy blue little suit with, uh, with, 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 with green accents and pink accents is... Dun, dun, dun. It's Mia with her gorgeous little freckles. And she's got a nice red Albany plait down the back of her helmet, which is cool. It's nice. They have hair. And her helmet is lavender and she's got pink goggles on hers. So that's very, very cool. What's she riding? Oh, she's not going skiing, she's going snowboarding. And we are going to use the first of the stickers here to decorate her snowboard. So there's one end. And we need, of course, a matching one for the other side. And this way we'll have no idea which way is the front and which way is the back because they're both exactly the same. <laughs> there we are. Now she can go out on the snow too. This is going to be epic. All right, the two girls are ready and here is the baby bear on its own little snowboard. And <laughs> he has zoomed off again. The girls aren't quite sure that they saw what their eyes told them they saw. <laughs> we might bring him back in in a moment because he's got his own little perch which will build soon. But this is flag and <laughs> We're not very good at getting around it. It's a bit slippery out here on the snow. So we've got one pink flag and we get another one. Not in pink this time. This time it is in blue. So two flags so we can set out a trail or some sort of course that we want them to ski around. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right. I've got so many plans for this. And I think, uh, I think Olivia's just bombarded straight through those flags. Okay, I promised a little place. This is a little perch for the bear. The baby bear, hello. His name is Biscuit and he really is so cute. He lives under the mountainside. He's got his own little perch there. Oh, and a fish. So he can go ice fishing maybe. Is he awesome at that? I don't know. All right, so he's got his little icy perch. He's got a fish. He's got Olivia who keeps slipping over. Now we need... The first little part, which we can do some tricks on, first part of this build. So it is snowy. There is a slidey bit there. There are some icy blue bits. And on the top is a big yellow piece. And look, it's a ramp. So they can slide down this little ramp. Let's see. How do we go? Woo! Oh, that's awesome. That works really well. Olivia is thrilled. What about you, Mia? Oh, look, it works for you too. So that's beautifully designed, works nicely. What about Biscuit? Here, come on Biscuit, come Oh, I don't think it's designed for baby bears. Maybe when you are on a snowboard. Let's try that. Come on, come on, give it a go. Oh, he <laughs> still fell over, but we'll give him the fish anyway. <laughs> a happy reward. Okay, all right. Now we have got, oh, a little, uh, a little, little shoppy type thing. I think it's a shoppy type thing. I don't think it's an information stand like like we had on the last set on the snow chalet, which is also cool. I'm loving all these snow sets. So there's some lights there and there's snow caps on the top. So this is a track that 
the tracks. So it is an information board. Oh, it's definitely an information board. Okay. All right, so there's a little pamphlet we can take. And there is, ah, uh, okay, so there is a little map that they can take too. So they can go out and explore on their skis. They can take the map with them. Now we're going to build the little shop. So if they come up the mountainside and they don't actually have their own skis or their own snowboards or their own ski poles, or if they happen to lose them or leave them on the bus, then they can come and they can hire them from here. So we need our little sign that tells us how much they are. So that looks kind of reasonable. So I hope they don't lose their money, leave that on the bus. If they do, there's always some left lying around on the counters, <laughs> the Lego Friends sets. So we've got a cash register and a bit of money. And now we just need a little overarching awning archy thing. <laughs> There we go, lots of peaked architecture here so that the snow can slide down off the peaks. And we need, well, we need some products. So we've got some ski poles. There's a third spare one there too, which is great. Got a little snow sticker, snowflake sticker. Not certain what that's supposed to designate that we're out here in the snow. That is not straight. I can't handle that. I need to uh, straighten that up. There we go, that's better. There. I can rest easy now. <laughs> the sticker is straight enough. And on the snowboard, which Biscuit had borrowed at the beginning of the video, we also need to put some stickers on that too, just to personalize it, make it look really funky. And we're going to put it over here. And next to it are another pair of skis. So the girls could have snowboards each, or they can have skis each. And there's also a pair, two pairs of spare goggles. So that's cool. They don't actually go in the shop. But they are just included in the set. So if they fall off the helmets and you lose them, we've got some spares, which is two thumbs up. That's really exciting. So we're up to bag number two. We've got the shop. We've got the information board. Now we need to start the actual ski lift and little restaurant top. So we need to build a mountain first, I think. So let's do that. This is a great little mountain. Just look at all the different colors and the textures. Lego could have made this so very bland and boring, but they've interspersed light gray with dark gray, brown, white, blue for ice, shiny, textured. It's really cool. And I think those little handholds there are going to be kind of a way you can climb up the mountainside. It looks a bit like that, or we might end up hanging foliage off it. We'll find out, I suppose. And we've got our first little information flag, which has got a skier on it. So obviously we are meant to ski here, which is good news because they brought their skis <laughs> and their snowboards. Some foliage! Now where are we going to put this? Oh, okay, over here. That'll make extra handholds, I suppose. Oh, and a moving bit with the little rubbery squishy thing, which means it's going to bounce back and we got a yellow knob on it. So I don't know what that's going to move yet. Just simply turns at the moment. So we'll see. I won't be impatient. It will all show up soon. Oh, check out the nice big ice wall there. I don't think I want to be trying to climb up that. It looks very, very slippery. Now, I don't know if we're making a rooftop here or if, or if we're extending the base level. Oh my goodness, we're extending the base level. That's awesome. We're just going to duck mirror in here so you can have a bit of an idea of the perspective of it and a big rocky wall piece is getting a whole heap of little snow caps on it i don't think the yellow bit on the top is snow i definitely hope it's not snow <laughs> okay and uh yeah some more snow and that is going um uh, here oh fabulous our mountain is taking very good shape the facade of it is anyway the outside walls and maybe some tree toppy bits and some more greenery with some little snow caps. Oh, that looks really nice. And I can just see, I can just see Mir in there past all of the ice. Now on the top, we've got, oh, it looks like a, we're gonna have a trap door of some sort here. That's what our twisty turny bit will be for.
Oh, cool. All right. So here is our little hatch and we'll find out how it functions in a moment. We're putting another sticker on with some chevrons on it, arrows pointing downwards. So it could be a mat, it could be a bed, but it's not. It's actually, whoa, it's pointing down. So we're going to be using it to flip the girls <laughs> down the side of the mountain. At the moment, that's quite a sheer drop. <laughs> so not very safe for them. So we might keep building, <laughs> see how else this is supposed to build up. It's got some cute little lights on there. Maybe they're... <laughs> I should stop doing that. I'm really, really sorry. We'll stop doing that until we've actually got a ramp to go down, which I think this is going to be. Yes, it is. We've got some very nice little stripes on the sides. This is definitely a clear path down the mountain, down the snowy mountain side. Brilliant. And this is just going to hinge on the bottom there. And then we click it into the hinges up here. And then they've got a. Oh! Oh no, I just pushed off half of the top pieces with that. Right, let me find them all. Try and put it back the way it's supposed to be. Hold on, that goes on under there. And these go on the top. No, that's better. That was not quite as bad as I thought. And the flag flew off too. Okay, so they've got a snowy ramp. I really want to try this out, so let's do it. You ready and go. Oh, hold on. They kind of bang into that bottom bit. That is not a smooth exit. I obviously need to add some more, so oh, something's wrong. So we're up to bag number three. We're not adding more to the ramp at the moment. Looks like we're building up here on top of the mountain. We're going to be building a little restaurant where they can come and warm up after they've been out on the slopes and have a bit of refreshment. So obviously we need somewhere to keep this jar of stuff, <laughs> which refuses to stand up straight. There we are. So, mmm, cold drink. Lovely. That'll be perfect. And oh, look at this. It's cherry pie. In fact, it's a whole cherry pie in quarters. Oh, that's fabulous. And a cash register. I'm so excited to have more cherry pie pieces. And over here, maybe a little oven. Something to warm things up on. Oh, definitely. Okay, there's a hot plate on the top of it, a little stove top and a little frying pan. Maybe that's where we could warm the cherry pie up before we serve it. And we can just tuck Mir in here. There's not actually enough room for a mini doll to be in there comfortably. There's a hundred dollar note there and a hot dog mm -mm, and a cup for hot chocolate. Or coffee or tea. Or a chai latte, depending upon what you want to have to warm you up. Okay, a menu, which I did not put on straight, so we'll fix that. Good. See what I said about money just lying around these Lego Friends builds? We could borrow that $100 note if we need to go and hire skis. <laughs> and some glass around our little shop front here, which looks really great. You can see the pie through it. You can see the frying pan through it. Just opens that whole area up. Some lights over the top and a spot for a sign and some little snowflakes just gently fallen on the top, perfectly matching <laughs> and a sign. So the eatery sign, a knife and fork. We can't get too confused about what we're going to be doing here. And we need to add a few more peaks along the top and we're done at the top. Now we need Oh, we need some speakers. Of course we do, because there's nothing more restful than listening to loud music while you're sitting on the slopes. <laughs> okay, we've got two speakers. Now we've got a bit more foliage, some more on the other side. I love the little purple flowers. I think they look lovely with the snow. And now we just need some railings so that people don't just fall straight off the edge of our mountaintop restaurant, because that would be a dire disaster would be very bad. Nobody would want to come and eat here. So we've got some seats and I do love the stickers that are on them. Mia's trying this out. Hopefully she won't tumble off while we keep building. Got a spot for a table in the middle, I think, but we'll keep doing those banisters. They're very important. There. And Olivia's turned up too. She must have smelt the fresh cherry pie. So we better make the table. There's a drink out here. 
and a little single stud. We keep knocking these girls over. And, oh yum, a lovely sandwich and an iPod. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, Mia just has to stand up for now. And another cup and a pair of binoculars so they can keep an eye on what's going out on the ski fields while they're up here having something to eat. And because there's an extra cherry pie piece, I'm giving it to Mia. She can have a nibble on it while we start on bag number four. This is going very, very well. Okay, we're still extending the bottom of the base area here. I know why, because it's the lift, obviously. So we're building a little arch over. We're putting a bit more lovely forestation on the mountainside. And now, oh, look at that. There we go. There's one of those things, <laughs> stripy things to be, to be showing attention, not to stand in front of it or behind it. <laughs> Just pay attention and we've got some hinges here now so we're definitely getting started on the ski lift itself oh and a handle so it'll go round and round and round and round so this I assume is how we're going to wind the ski lift up yes because it goes at the top excellent yes there's that hazard line thing <laughs> doing so well and some more little technique pieces here so we're going to have moving parts, of course. Oh, and there's our uprights. Oh, they're such a lovely blue. There we go. All right, that's the top of the ski lift now. Oh, actually, it's not quite the top of the ski lift because this is going to go on the top of the ski lift, on the top of the top of the ski lift. We got some snow there and a sign so we know it's the ski lift just in case we were in any doubt whatsoever cool that's ready now we just need some little pieces to attach it all together and a little hingy bit there little hinging piece and a bit of snow extending out oh a railing with a smooth top and some more snow and a little snowy lump oh look so they can go over that and they could even use the railing the smooth railing for tricks Oh, that's cool. All right. All right, now we're putting our nice big black roddy bit on. Doing so well with the names of these pieces today. <laughs> I think my brain's wandered off on holidays. On a skiing holiday. This piece is, well, it's all smooth in the middle. It looks like it's going to become the chair. All smooth on the sides. Definitely starting to take chair shape. And a bar on the bottom. And we're going to need somewhere to actually attach it so it can ride up and down. So that's these bits. Oh, that's cool. All right. So now it's going to angle properly, hopefully, so they don't just topple out. So we need to stick the black long roddy piece through the hole up there so that it can go up, 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 up. And we need this piece of cord. So we're gonna attach that there and then it goes up and through here, through there if I can get it through. And then it attaches to our little winchy part and then we just turn it and up it comes. Oh, that's fabo, oh, I love that. All right, now we need another end, obviously. Otherwise, it's just going to fall off and that would be very dangerous. Here we go. Some more uprights. This is the bottom, the bottom of the ski lift. Get those uprights attached nice and firmly. And what is this, oh, it's the top of the bottom of the ski lift, like we had at the top of the top of the ski lift with the snow caps on it, but no sign on this. Just enough so that it matches. We know it all ties in. So this connects down here on our nice big long snowy bit. And now our ski lift can go up and down. Oh, that's awesome. Just wondering 
how they're going to stay in there without falling out because there's no little <laughs> there's oh okay so the, the feet kind of touch up against the bar and let's give it a whirl let's see oh my fingers are in the way but we can kind of see what's happening oh you know silly me they'd be wearing their snows their snows <laughs> they'd be wearing their snowboards or their skis so that would be shoved through that little bar there we'll try that out in a moment because i want to actually try this slope again because it didn't work before let's just see if i was bad at it no they still topple over let's try one more time well no still hit it and it just knocks them off so we might change we'll adjust the the, the levels there that's it there we go well that's obviously what we needed to do let's try it again and that way she stays on her board let's see if i can show you because she just keeps flying off screen <laughs> she's getting some serious speed up so there see how cool is that now she needs to stop hogging the slopes they both need to be able to have a go and of course biscuit would like to have a go too and he can just roll down the slope because he's a baby bear <laughs> that looks fun and see they can go over this little slope here and we're gonna have to try it all out oh and under the mountain is just a little a little resting place or a little cave for the bear so we're all done this is so much fun we are going to play with it now let's send the girls out to the slopes <laughs> and and biscuit too of course he wouldn't want to miss out on the fun. So Olivia is here. She's hired her snowboard. Mia has come on her home skis. She's obviously very good at this, but she just knocked over Olivia and that wasn't very kind. It looks like they're having a bit of a race. She didn't even wait for Mia on the ski lift. I suppose the ski lift does not wait for anyone. It just keeps going. So you can take the next one up, Olivia. It'll be all right because Mia is going to wait for you at the top. She told me. And if she doesn't, I'll be very cross with her. There we go. She is waiting for you at the top. All right, she's ready. Goggles on. Ski poles up. Let's go! Oh, awesome job, Mia! All right, it is Olivia's turn. All right, you ready? Okay, arms out steady, goggles on, and go! Wow, that was amazing for your first ever go. All right, um, except now Olivia's go. <laughs> now off. All right, round the flags. Woo! This is so much fun. Oh, wow, you got some serious air there. She can do some tricks on that snowboard. <laughs> and uh, here comes uh, Biscuit. And Biscuit doesn't have a snowboard. I don't know what Biscuit is up to. Sniffing all the flagpoles. I think he's following the girls. Here they go, down the slope. And here they go. They're caught up with each other again. Nope. Oh, off again. There they go. Here comes Biscuit too. <laughs> Follow those girls. And over here, over these trick slopes here. Oh no, hold on. Mia has just taken a tumble. She appears to have lost her skis. Oh, I think Biscuit has them now. <laughs> okay, definitely time after you've had a tumble to stop and refresh, warm up. But what can they see out there on the slopes? Lucky the binoculars were just lying there on the table. Let's see what they can see. Some flags. <gasps> Biscuit has got... Was that one of the snowboards? Was that... Th that was... Olivia's snowboard <gasps> and the other ski and the ski poles what is he doing with all this stuff and now he's taken the flag and the blue flag what are you doing biscuit oh my goodness he's made a nest out of all of the skiing equipment <laughs> you are a funny little baby bear now how are they going to get all that back from him so they can go skiing again maybe they just need to ask really nicely or distract him with some fish we'll have to go and look for that fish <laughs> Oh my goodness, I hope you enjoyed that set. It was so exciting. I loved it. Please don't forget to subscribe. That way you will get notified when new videos go up. Leave me a comment. I really, really love reading them. And I am going to be back with a new video very, very soon.